Hey, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. It's early summer now. One of my personal favorite ways to catch summertime fish is topwater. I think everybody loves doing it. One of my favorite baits, of course, is a walking style bait, a spook, rover, uh, vixen. Everybody likes throwing walking baits, but something that a lot of people overlook is the front runner. You know, front runner is such a simple addition. Basically, it's uh, War Eagle makes this particular one. I'm sure other brands do, but those are the ones we use. They're widely available. It's just a little tiny bait with a single hook on it with a line tie at each end, and it floats. What you do is you tie that on 12 to 24 inches in front of your top water, your walking bait. And when you walk that bait in the water, as the, as the spook is going left and right, the front runner is doing the opposite. It's walking out in front of the other bait. And I think it does a couple of things. I think one, it gives you a very different look in the water, something the fish aren't used to seeing. They're used to seeing that one top water out there walking in the open. They're not used to seeing two. Two, it gives the, the illusion that your walking bait is feeding, that it's in pursuit of the front runner, that it's chasing a minnow. And bass just have this predatory instinct to ambush other smaller predators when they're working. And then third, if you're on schooling bass, when you do hook up on your big topwater, because they're almost always going to eat the topwater first because it's in the back and it's larger. If you do hook up and you're on those schooling bass, now you have another bait with an exposed treble hook out in front of that fight. And a lot of times you can get a second fish to come in and latch onto that front runner as well. So you also, when you do this, you want to keep in mind because of that, because of the potential to hook more than one fish at a time, that that section in between the baits needs to be a much heavier line. So I might throw my, my spook, depending on what lake I'm on, on anything from 10 to 15 pound line. If I'm going to be running a front runner, I'm going to step that up to 20. If I'm fishing for giant fish, maybe even 25 pound line, just for that little section in between, because it's so short, it needs to absorb all that shock of those two fish fighting against each other and against you. This year, get out there, pick up a front runner, give it a try. It's a totally different look that your fish aren't seeing. It's going to help you put some more fish in the boat. I hope this helps. We'll talk to you soon. as hard as you can so it's hard for a lot of guys to transition from that that powerful hook set heavy braided line down to just a really finesse movement to get the frog to walk but that's so important um, so for me i like a shorter rod i generally use a seven foot three to a seven foot six for me that's a short rod for other people they might want a seven footer or something else um, but a seven three seems to be perfect